you seem to be more influenced by that second generation, really, I think, than that first generation, if, if, if I can kind of venture out there. Not for me. I'm definitely, I feel just as influenced by the first generation. Yeah. Some of the second generation type of people for sure. But yeah, Bill Monroe and, you know, guys like that are big influence still. <laughs> Allie here. I'm 100% influenced by jam bands and rock and roll. I like to joke around with people <laughs> that if you start listening to The Grateful Dead, then you might find yourself a bluegrass fan. Yeah. That's such a gateway. It's so true. You know, you know, no pun intended. Me too. <laughs> the gateway drug for bluegrass. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. I mean, and yeah. you've got a lot of that, a lot of that going on. Oh yeah. I mean, you think they're like kind of another band that I think is overlooked in comparison to the Grateful Dead, but who I, I still love the Grateful Dead, but lately, man, listen to the Almond Brothers, and that I mean that's like that's like Southern rock, but man, it, I think it kind of goes good with bluegrass and and when they're when those guys were firing in all cylinders, man, it's otherworldly. You know, it's, it's so sweet. And I think a lot of the jam band culture, specifically guitar tone, comes from, was it, it uh, Dwayne, Dwayne Allman. I think people just straight up lifted from him and are still lifting from him. And, and uh, you know, more than maybe even Jerry Garcia. But, I mean, I think, you know, look at the Asheville sound, Asheville bluegrass it's very chopsy and jam oriented and it always has been but now I, I i guess i sort of recognize more of a colorado-y type you know high speed kind of thing happening with it you know 